In this video, I'd like to quickly introduce our PHP unit snapshot assertions package and show you a nice practical example of how you can use it. Now our package adds a few methods to PHP unit, namely assert matches snapshot and JSON and an XML variant. Now the basic idea behind snapshot testing is the first time you run a method that contains one of the snapshot methods, it will just create a snapshot. And on subsequent runs, it will verify if the output of your test is still the same than the contents in that uh, snapshot. Now, that sounds a little bit theoretical, so let's head over to PHP Storm and view a more practical example. So here we are in the middle of the tests of another package that we've made, namely Laravel Sitemap. And like the name implies, Laravel Sitemap can generate sitemaps for Laravel applications. Let's take a look at this test method. An URL string can be added to the sitemap. It's very easy. We just new up a new sitemap instance, we add an URL to it, and then we are going to assert that if we render the sitemap, the output is the same as a stub that we saved previously. Let's go take a look at the contents of that single URL stub. And if I open it up, nothing surprising here. It just contains the XML of the sitemap. And you should know that I've created this file by hand when I was busy coding up the tests uh, for the first time. If I jump back to the test, then you can see this assert is equal to contents of stub method. This is also a method that I wrote myself. And you can see if we jump to its definition that it will first get the contents of the stub then uh, does an assertion. And if I take a look at that get contents of stop method, that does nothing else as just getting uh, the contents of that stub file. Now, all of this can be replaced with our snapshot package. Let's pull it in with Composer and make sure you use the dev option. Uh, so the package is listed in your dev dependencies. And with the package installed, you can add a new trait to your test class, namely the matches snapshots trait. And with that out of the way, let's jump back to the test that we viewed earlier. So let's start using our snapshot methods here. So we can see now that we have a few new methods available, assert matches snapshots and the XML variant. I'm going to use the XML variant here because sitemaps are XML files. And I just gotta give it the rendered output of the sitemap and that's actually enough. I can remove the old assertion methods and then I'm ready to go. Let's run that modified test. And you can see that it has run, but it has been marked as incomplete. If we look at the file system now, we can see a new directory called snapshots and it contains a file that has been named after our test and it contains the sitemap. Cool. Now let's run that test again. And boom, it succeeds. So we have asserted that the output of our sitemap is uh, equal to the contents of the snapshot here. Now let's make it fail. Let's not add this URL to it. And sure enough, the test fails. Let's make it green again. And our snapshot is back OK. So I hope you can see the value in this. You don't need to create stubs manually anymore. If I take a look at this folder, I previously took some time to create all of these stubs manually. And with snapshot testing, I just don't need to do that anymore. So next I'm going to refactor all of the methods that use stubs now and replace that by uh, snapshot testing so that this entire stubs directory can be removed. Because it's a little bit of a boring job, I'll do this quickly behind the screens. And boom, that refactor is done. All of these tests now use the, the snapshot methods. So in theory, I should just be able to delete this stubs directory. 
and let's run all of the tests again and remember the first time it's going to create the snapshots and those tests are marked as uh, marked as incomplete and if i refresh the snapshots directory now sure you can see all the snapshots has have been generated and if i run the tests again i should be seeing green and sure enough i see green here and let's make one test failing to uh, demonstrate that this actually works so now one of those tests should give an error and sure enough we have one failing test i hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to snapshot testing if you want to learn more just read the documentation of our package on github and also check out uh, the blog post that my colleague Sebastian has written about the subject is also the author of the package actually. So thanks for watching and until next time.